Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. You have found Fit Life with Blythe, and I am your host, Blythe Alberg. I do have a YouTube channel that I would love for you to check out. There's a ton of important free information on there to help you with your life's journey. Now, I have six simple tips today that will help you start living a fitter life starting today. So grab a pen and paper and write down these quick, easy six tips that you can implement today. Number one, plan your food. You should start each day with a lunch packed or planned. Same thing with dinner. Now, most of us are under the understanding that we know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So if you haven't begun living that way, now is the time. Plan your food for each day. Most of us send our children out into the world um, so they don't have to worry about making food decisions. They just have a packed lunch. Make sure you do that for yourself as well. Number two, make sure you are scheduling in sleep. Now, again, those of us with kids have um, a bedtime set for our children, and we ensure that they all get a good night's rest because that is the adult thing to do. Well, we also need to make sure that we are doing that for ourselves. Yes, guys, it is important. Seven and a half to eight hours sleep for every adult out there to help you achieve your weight loss goals. And maybe you're not looking to lose weight. Maybe you're just looking to become a little bit healthier. Sleep is imperative, guys. That is part of the formula to living a fit and healthy life. Number three, if you are a smoker, if you drink excessive alcohol, if you drink alcohol regularly, make sure you stop those bad habits now. Now, there are so many new treatments out there um, to stop smoking and stop drinking, guys. There really is no excuse to be carrying on these terrible habits. It will help you sleep better. It will help your hormones balance. It will help you get off those blood pressure medications if you are on any. Be sure that you start with the simple things first. So quit smoking and drinking. Number four, establish some ground rules for yourself, but schedule in an off time. And what I mean by that is schedule in a cheat meal or some off time for you once a week at least. Now, most of my clients find that looking forward to um, maybe date night with the husband or um, family night with the kids and, you know, having pizza or whatever, some sort of a meal or something that you can look forward to, maybe it's an activity and not food, um, that you can enjoy that kind of sets you free from focus on life, somewhere where you can be autopilot. But make sure you do establish some ground rules for yourself. For instance, let's say you decided to have a cheat meal and you went to a steakhouse and they serve you this delicious loaf of bread. And instead of having half of that loaf of bread, you want to have dessert. So kind of uh, ration it out for yourselves and, and set some ground rules so you're not going totally whole hog, but that you are doing something that you enjoy and look forward to. Number five, try new things. Maybe you're somebody who only takes group exercise classes. Maybe you're somebody who only lifts weights. Um, either way, you've got to continue to keep your body stimulated. Make sure that if you're somebody who just runs or does cardiovascular exercise, that you incorporate some sort of resistance training. It's great for your brain. It's great for your body. And it's great for your psyche, guys. It will really, really help you get out of that kind of workout funk that you can so simply fall into. And number six, approach life every day with a fresh perspective. Now, I think we've all heard the saying, misery loves company. But let me tell you this, happiness loves company as well. And if you start every day with your worries from yesterday, you know, kind of like Groundhog Day, reliving every day and just in the moment and stressed out, anxiety driven, um, you're never ever going to be able to focus on you. And, and really life is all about you. It's all about your family. It's all about your children. You cannot run the rest of your life without taking care of you first. So I do certainly encourage you to live every day to the most fulfillment you can and with a happy attitude. So start each day with a fresh perspective. Guys, with that, I'm going to leave you with a big smile and a have a great day tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to look for me on Facebook, Fit Life with Blythe. 
Or you can send me a personal email, and if you've got nutritional questions, life coaching questions, I'd be certainly happy to help you with that. I do get back to everyone who is interested with real life questions. So feel free to send me an email. It's Blythe, B-L-Y-T-H-E dot Alberg, A-L-B-E-R-G at Gmail. I look forward to hearing from some of you guys and answering some of the questions that you have. I do a weekly vlog, I do a weekly workout post, and I do a weekly recipe. So stay tuned, guys. I'll see you soon.